Since India's independence in 1947, the country's energy infrastructure has evolved from producing a measly 1350 megawatts to churning over 200,000 megawatts. Despite the incredible advancement, India is still facing an energy crisis. About 70% of India's energy generation capacity is from fossil fuels, with coal accounting for around 57% of India's total energy consumption. More than 300 million Indians still have no access to electricity. Most of them reside in rural India. With a growing economy and a 1.24 billion population aspiring for a better quality of life, India's energy demand growth is inevitable. Coal mining alone in central India threatens over 1.1 million hectares of forest land and tribes dependent on forests for their livelihood. These forests are inhabited by endangered animal species. India is the fourth largest carbon dioxide emitter in the world. This is due to increased coal consumption, which represents 67% of the increased emissions. In contrast, renewable energy does not pollute the environment or produce greenhouse gases. It is the appropriate solution to climate change. But as a country, we continue to lag behind in our intention or action on using and promoting renewable energy. Only 12.25% of India's energy generation capacity is from renewable energy resources. With its natural resources, India can emerge as a renewable energy superpower in the world. Only a fraction of the total potential of renewable energy sources has been utilized in India. Gujarat government has taken an unprecedented initiative to promote renewable energy projects like the Canal Solar Power Project, in which 18,000 km long network of Narmada canals across the state is intended to be used for setting solar panels and generating electricity. Another initiative in Gujarat is the Charanka Solar Park, where groups of thin film photovoltaic power systems are being set up on a 2,000 hectare site in the district of Patan. Solar power has produced electricity in every diverse region of India, from rural Bihar to mountain terrains of Ladakh, from villages of Rajasthan to a metropolitan city like Bengaluru. In Bihar, farmers have used solar energy to generate underground water for farming and fish culture. Ladakh, which is a very high plateau in the Himalayan range, experiences heavy snowfall and remains cut off by road from the rest of the country for several months in the year. There, solar energy is used for cooking, lighting and heating. There are villages in Rajasthan where electricity has reached now because of Gram Power, a private electricity generating enterprise. Selco India is a 15-year-old company committed to provide much-needed access to clean lighting services to people. Selco has delivered 100,000 solar lighting systems to energy poor across the state of Karnataka. Long coastlines and numerous hilly regions make wind power a bright option to generate electricity. In Karnataka's villages, people are switching from firewood to biogas for clean cooking. Most of the villagers produce biogas in their own compound from cow dung. Villages in Nubra Valley in Ladakh are generating electricity through micro hydropower unit installed in Glacier Stream for nine months of the year. India has renewable energy resources in abundance and the most impressive initiative is in Bihar, generating electricity from rice husk. Husk power system was founded in rural Bihar. These power plants are modest establishments 
where electricity is generated by the gas produced from the rice husk in the machine. Husk power systems provide electricity for 6 to 7 hours each evening. To about 100,000 people across 125 villages using only rice husk. These tales of success are not mere stories, but an eye-opening, practical demonstration of how renewable energy can be used efficiently to produce energy without indulging in forest destruction and carbon emission. The answer to India's ongoing energy crisis is loud and clear. If India has to become a truly democratic nation where energy delivery system is fair and transparent, renewable energy has to play a significant role. And it cannot be ignored just as a backup power. It is a time for the renewable energy to become a mainstream source of electricity.